Hello, so today we are doing this problem called um, Word Search 2. It's a hard problem on lead code. Um, I've done also Word Search 1, so you can look that up. Um, and so let's get to it. Um, so we get a 2D board, um, a two dimension board, and the list of words from a dictionary. And we want to find all those words in the board. Um, and so each word must be constructed from letters of adjacent cells. And in this case, adjacent means horizontally or vertically neighboring. So only these neighbors vertically and horizontally, no like diagonally adjacent um, cells are counted here. And the same letter should not be used more than once. Okay. In, in the same word, of course, it can be used like in two different words. Um, and then, so for example, here we have this board and we have these words. And so we want to return the list of words that we can find in this dictionary, in this board, sorry. So for example, oath can be found by going this way and then going down and then down. Um, and also eat can be found by going this way. Rain and P are not found, we can't find them here. And so we return just oath and eat. So that's the problem. Let's look into how to solve it. So one thing you can notice that is that the problem can be solved with just finding the words in the board. That's not too complicated. We can just use DFS by going, uh, by exploring the board and backtracking if we didn't find um, if it, we didn't find anything in the, in the list of words. And so DFS can allow us to just explore the entire board and each time we check if, it's, if we can construct one of the words in the dictionary. Um, but one thing you can notice is that if we, for example, go O, E, no need to continue checking I and I because there is no word here that has the prefix O, E. And so that can tell us that we can prune the backtracking for the DFS we are doing, which means that if we find, if we have a prefix that doesn't match any prefix in then any of the words, we just can let go of that branch and not continue the DFS. Otherwise, we'll just do a lot of unnecessary work. And so you notice I said prefix here. Whenever there is like something that checks if it's a prefix of a list of words. You can directly think tries, which allow us to do that really easily. And so the solution here would be a combination of doing DFS, backtracking um, on that DFS if we didn't find anything, and pruning that backtracking using a try. So yeah, so that's the gist of the solution. Let's let's get into writing it. So first we need to write our tries, our try. And the try it would be would be used on the on the words here. So we need a try of our list of words so that if we are exploring a board and we have a path here, we can check in the try of words here to see if it's a prefix of any of them. And if it's not, we can just stop exploring. So we need to write a try. So let's get to it. So try has um so let's write it first here. So we need the try node. Um, and we need a try itself. And a try node is just um, a node that has children. And so let's define it as default dict. So that if it's not, um, so I'm, do, I'm using this here so that if we do like children for some character C, um, and we didn't put C in the in the in the try node children before. We will still get it get it as initialized to um, to try node. And we do, if we didn't do default dict, we will get an error because C wasn't in, uh, added to the to, to to the children's map. So this is just so that by default it's set to try node. Um, okay. And then, so we need to import collections. Uh, default dict from collections. So that would be in from collections import. 
and that would be we can do this. And <clears throat> this is just to mark that it's the end of the that that the, the last that a character is the end of is a word. So basically that would mean in our try we will mark H here as the, an end of a word, T as an end of a word, so so that we can know when um, so basically while when we explore the try and we are doing our DFS and we find that the prefix is the end of the word, we can just add uh, add the word to the list of results that we are returning at the end. So that's why you need this mark, mark this here to mark the end of the word. And so let's define the try itself. Um, so this will need to be. And um, so is this one too. So we need the root for our try, which would be just um, a try node that we initialize. And we need two functions. We need function to insert so that we can go through the dictionary and insert each word. And we need also a function that searches for a prefix or for a word in, a, in, in the try. So that would mean we need an insert for a word and we need search for a word. So insert, what it does is we need to um, first start from the root node and then go through each character in the word and each time go deeper in the try until we finish the word. And so that would mean to go deeper, we can just say node equal to node.children of C. And so the benefit of try node here default dict is that if this is, um, if C wasn't like added before, we can just get a try node um, right away. And so actually by default, it shouldn't be true. By default, it should be false because by default, it may be just a character of the word. And then, so once we do that, we need, once we have put all the characters, the last character um, needs to be marked as the end of the word. So that will be true here. Um, and then we need to search for a word. Uh, actually, we need to start from the root and go through the character of the word again. And each time just set a node to um, this. And if any time we encounter that this node doesn't exist, that means that that character um, doesn't exist. So we can just return false. And at the end, we can return whether it's the end of the word. To say that we found a, wo a word here in the try. Um, and then we can use that to, f to, to do our DFS with backtracking here. And so um, let's define the result list. And then we need to define the try that we will be using. Um, and we need just a node that starts from the root of the try. And um, so we need to go through the board so that we can explore um, and find the words. And to go through the boards, we can say this. Just confirming that this is going. Okay, cool. And then here um, we are animating row. And we can start the DFS. Um, so that would be um, can pass board positions um, and the node in the try so that we can know um, whether, whether we should continue or not. Um, so this is basically node here is passed so that we can know if we are at I here because we did OEI, we can know whether to just exit because that node, there is no way to, to obtain I from that node, right? And so we need the path also so that we know what prefix we are checking for. And so we can just pass that as it starts off as an empty. Uh, and then the result we have so far so that we can append to it. And at the end, we just need to return that result. 
And now let's define the function DFS. Um, so we need a board node ij and path and result. And so first of all, our exit function here, if the node that we have is the last one, so for example, we are exploring the board here and we we got to t here, then we need to add it to the list of results, right? So if node is word, then we can append um, path. Um, that's the that that will be the word, and then we can set. Since we used it and we shouldn't use, we shouldn't add the word twice to the result. So to avoid adding it twice, we can just set this to false. Um, and after that, we, we can check the boundaries so that if we are outside the boundaries, we can just exit, we shouldn't continue. And so if um, either i is less than zero or i is bigger or equal, or j is less than zero, or j is bigger than, in this case, we can return. Um, after that, um, we can, so the character we are at at this moment is board of ij. So if, let's say the character here is i, but there is, in the, from this node where we are at, um, in the try here, which is E, which has only A next to it, so there is no I. So in that case, we need to say, we need to read to exit the, 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 the DFS, there is no need to continue. So if C is not in node that children, then we can just return. So this is the pruning step that, that we are doing here. And to not so the, also there is here we want we don't want to use the same letter, um, um, so, so the same letter cell may not be used more than once in a word. So we need to avoid doing uh, using it more than once. So to do that we can just here um, put some character or something that sh just to mark it as as something that won't be found here in the dictionary. Um, and then we can start exploring, and at the end, we can put back the value C. And so to start exploring the neighbors of the letter, we can just go through each of them. So that would be... And... And from there, we need to do the FS. So that would be board, um, neighbors, coordinates, and node. But this time, it's node that children. So that we, so that if we are at, for example, A, and we want to explore T, for the next exploring or explorations, we want to pass the start the start of the node in the try to be T here. So we, we do this, and the path now has C appended to it. So for the case of O, the path now is O, A, T. Um, and then we need to pass in the results. And that's about it. And that's all what our DFS does. Um, so, to summarize, we first created our try, and then here we created the, um, yeah, I missed a step. I didn't, I created the, I created the try structure, but I didn't um, populate the try with the list of words. So I need to do that here. So we need to go through the words and insert each one of them in the try. So try. Um, that insert w um, 
So let's run this. Uh, there is no need for is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put this um, out of the solution class. Okay, why is it complaining here? So now there's root, which is a try node. Yep, my init function here is missing this. Uh, okay, let's So uh, node here is int. I'm, I'm passing the node, right? Um, just try it. Yep, so I messed up the order of the parameters here. Um, so this one is to be here. Okay, so that should work. The order doesn't matter actually, but yeah. So we didn't end up using this search because, because we are doing our own custom um, handling here. So yeah, we can delete this if you want. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so that passes. Um, so, um, I'm going to implement another solution here. Um, so there is another solution that can be um, that can be implemented that uses. Um, a simpler implementation of the try. Um, another one that can also use um, um, a, um, a simpler um, usage of the board. So, actually, I think this is good enough. Um, I, I may purpose this later on, but for now, I think this is good enough. So, um, see you later. Bye.